Welcome to this series of videos about how YouTube's search and discovery system works. Listen up, because understanding how your videos get found can be super helpful to your channel's success. Let's start with the algorithm. YouTube is a popular place with hundreds of hours of video uploaded each minute. Since no team of people could ever keep up with watching all that, we rely on a sophisticated algorithm to match each viewer to the videos they're most likely to watch and enjoy. The algorithm is basically a real-time feedback loop that tailors videos to each viewer's different interests. It does its best to show the right videos to the right viewer at the right time across the whole planet. How do we do this? With data. For each video, we look at things like titles, thumbnails, descriptions, and how other viewers seem to be enjoying it. We also look at how much of the video they're watching, if they're clicking like or dislike, and how many people are commenting. And for each unique viewer, we look at things like what the person has watched in the past, how much time they spend watching, and what they don't watch. Above all, the algorithm has two simple goals. One, help each viewer find the videos they wanna watch, and two, get viewers to keep watching more of what they like. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, then how can I get the algorithm to like my videos? Pretty simple, get the audience to like your videos. That's because the algorithm follows the audience. If people love your videos, the algorithm will surface them to others. But where will new audiences actually encounter these videos? In the next sections, we'll dive into six key areas where videos are often found, and we'll start with YouTube search. Do you know how it works? Like Google's search engine, YouTube search aims to surface the most relevant videos and channels according to what people type in the search box. The results aren't just based on the most viewed videos. Videos are ranked on things like how well the title, descriptions, and video itself match each query. Beyond that, we look at which videos have driven the most watch time and engagement for a search phrase. So, what can you do to help your videos get found in search results? Consider the following. Use relevant search terms in your titles and descriptions. Try looking at Google Trends to see which words people are searching for. What's key here is being relevant. Don't try to trick viewers or they may abandon your video early and that could hurt its performance in the long run. Write full descriptions, up to one to two paragraphs. Some creators only put their social media links in the description, potentially missing out on a lot of extra views. Pay attention to trending and seasonal topics and consider making videos around those, especially within your own content category. Okay, so that's YouTube search, but what about suggested videos? Next, let's talk about how they work and what you can do to help your videos get discovered there. In this one, we're taking a look at suggested videos. These are videos YouTube recommends based on what viewers were watching beforehand, related topics, and past watch history. You can find them on the right side of the watch page, below the video you're watching on the mobile app, and as the next video to autoplay. Suggested videos can be from any channel, including more from the one you're watching. What can you do to get your videos suggested to more viewers? Consider the following. Make a strong call to action. Suggest they watch another video in your series and Really sell them on why. Be mindful of long endings, as they might delay viewers from watching more. Use playlists, links, cards, and end screens to suggest the next video. Okay, so that's suggested videos, but what about the home screen? Where is home, and what can you do to help your videos get discovered there? Click here. works. In this one, we're taking a look at the home screen. Home is simple. It's what you see when you first open the YouTube app or visit youtube.com. It's the one-stop destination for YouTube and our personalized best guess at what each viewer may want to watch. We show a variety here, including videos that are new, watched by similar viewers, or from your subscriptions. Keep in mind that not all videos from your subscriptions show up on home. Rather, they can all be found on your subscriptions tab, which we'll talk about in another video. On home, the selection of videos is based on two things, performance 
or how well a video has engaged and satisfied similar viewers, as well as personalization based on a viewer's watch and search history. Personalization includes how much the viewer watches a channel or topic and how many times we've already shown each video to the viewer. To get your videos to show up on home, it's helpful to upload on a consistent basis. Keep viewers engaged and keep making what works. When you create something that's working for your audience, keep at it since we try to surface more of what your audience likes. Definitely don't be afraid to experiment, but do so mindfully, observing feedback from your audience and maybe giving them time to adjust. All right, that's the home screen. But what about that trending tab? Every system works. In this one, we're taking a look at trending. The trending feed is a list of what videos are new and popular, specific to a viewer's country. Some trends are predictable, like a movie trailer or a new song from a popular artist, but others can be completely surprising. Trending aims to combine popularity with novelty. Trending also considers the view count of a video, especially the rate of growth in views and where the views are coming from, among other things. That means the video with the highest daily view count may not necessarily be number one on trending. Keep in mind that trending also includes creator on the rise and artist on the rise, where each week up and coming different creators and artists are featured for a full day. There's not a lot you can do to get your videos to show up on trending, but it does help to make broadly appealing, shareable videos. If you want to make it on the rise, it helps to have strong channel growth and momentum. That's the story on the trending tab, but what about subscribers and the subscriptions tab? In this one, let's talk about subscribers and the subscriptions tab. Subscribers are viewers who like your videos enough to sign up for more. They watch from all areas of the site and are often your biggest fans. They also provide important initial signals to the life of a new video. Separately, the subscriptions tab shows a collection of videos from the channels a viewer is subscribed to. This feed is a list of the most recent uploads from those channels. Keep in mind, subscribers also see some subscription content on the home screen and in suggested videos. So how can you get your viewers to subscribe? Ask them to. Let them know that there will be more videos coming and when. Try to ask them in a genuine way, explaining both the benefits and how it supports you. Subscribers are your core audience, but keep in mind they're often subscribed to lots of other channels. So it helps to make your videos public when your viewers are most likely watching. You can take a look at your channel analytics for watch time by country or state to see when the best time slot might be. Okay, I hope that helped you better understand subscribers and the subscriptions tab. But what about notifications? In this one, we're talking about notifications. Notifications are alerts sent to subscribers of a channel when a new video is made public. They can be sent as mobile push alerts or emails. Notifications tend to kickstart early traffic to your new uploads, but they don't necessarily drive the bulk of views in the long run. By default, YouTube only sends occasional notifications from the channels you watch a lot or those you're subscribed to. If subscribers want to get notifications every time you make a new video public, they can tap the bell icon next to the subscribe button. The best way for you to understand how notifications work is by subscribing and tapping the bell on other channels. Just make sure notifications are turned on on your phone. It's also helpful to teach your subscribers how to turn on notifications. Lots of creators do this in a visual way, like making a video with screenshots. Hey, you made it! We covered a lot in this series, all the way from how the algorithm follows the audience to six key areas where videos can be discovered. We hope this has helped you understand how YouTube works with the goal of giving your videos their best chance of success. If you want to start from the beginning, click here. Otherwise, if you want to learn more, remember to visit and subscribe to the YouTube Creator Academy channel. And don't forget to tap the bell 